During the Second World War, the German army and the SS committed scores of atrocities and war crimes, and still today many of them are being uncovered. Hundreds of thousands of civilians were cast into the firing line, as the deadliest war in history came to their doorsteps, and inside of occupied lands, many were executed by Nazi death squads. Inside of Poland, the Einsatzgruppen caused chaos, executing large swathes of the population in huge massacres, and often many of those who were killed were very religious, and they had no right to have been slaughtered in the manner that they were. One woman, a nun who was brutally executed by the Germans, was Alicia Kotowska, who was brutally slain in a horrific massacre performed by the Germans in 1939 in Piaznica. But what is the story of her life, and also the needless and cruel death she had? Join us today as we find out, and remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Born Maria Jadwiga Kotowska, on the 20th of November 1899, her family were linked to the church. Her father was an organist in the local church, and he was a very pious man who never left the house without his rosary beads, and he also prayed regularly. He would read the scripture to his children, including Maria. She was sent to a boarding school in Warsaw, with her older sister, and Maria would study and be taught by the nuns inside the religious school. Whilst the First World War broke out, she spent the whole of the war there, and in 1918 she passed her secondary school leaving examination, and then in the same year she began to study medicine at the University of Warsaw. On the 10th of November 1918, she persuaded a group of friends and students to miss lectures, and they then went to the train station. Following this, a very religious Maria then joined a Polish military organisation. In 1920, the Bolshevik army was approaching Warsaw, and she then rushed to the front lines, and she helped wounded soldiers and officers serving as a Red Cross nurse. She also worked in a number of Warsaw hospitals, and would later be awarded, in 1932, the Polonia Restituta Cross for her heroic service in helping wounded soldiers. But despite serving in a military capacity, as well as studying, she met the Congregation of the Sisters of the Resurrection of Our Lord Jesus Christ, a group of nuns. The seat of their congregation was close to where Maria was studying, and during her third year, Maria would pause her studies, and she joined the congregation. Her parents were shocked that she wanted to become a nun, but they accepted this, and thought it was a good path for their daughter to follow. In 1922, Maria began her life in the religious house of the Resurrectionists in Poland, and she also took the religious name, Elisha. Two years later, she made her first vows, and came back to the Warsaw community. She also resumed her studies at university, but instead switched to learning about natural sciences and mathematics. She continued her studies, and then became a teacher, and she taught chemistry whilst also working as a nurse. She became a certified high school teacher, and in 1934, was appointed the director of the private primary school and the girls' secondary school in Vejherovo, which was struggling with money. She was also trusted with the management of a kindergarten and also a boarding school for girls. Maria managed to turn everything around and the school began to become very successful. In the summer of 1939, she would visit her parents for a final time and on the way back she stayed at another nunnery before she returned to the seaside. However, in September 1939, the Second World War would break out and the Nazis invaded Poland. As soon as the Germans occupied the country, Maria would make the decision to try and protect the women and the girls living inside the houses she was looking after. She knew that eventually she would be persecuted, and the school and the institution of the Resurrection Sisters was shut down. She ordered her fellow sisters to change into civilian clothes and to hide, but many of the sisters did not listen. The mother of one of the students found that Maria was threatened by the Gestapo with arrest, and she offered to help her escape. But this was not taken advantage of. In October 1939, Maria was arrested by the Gestapo. A German Wehrmacht captain then requisitioned and took control of the monastery building, and he asked the Gestapo what Maria had done which was offensive. The Gestapo replied, It is enough that she is Polish. But the other sisters and nuns offered themselves for Maria's life, and they asked if they could give their own lives for her, but this was not enough, and they wanted to be with her but the Germans would not allow it. The Gestapo would sickeningly say that Sister Alicia or Maria was being cared for well, but this was not the case. 
She was being held inside a Gestapo prison, and there were many efforts made to get her out, and two schoolgirls visited, and they tried to get her free. Maria sent her greetings to the other nuns, and said she was doing well, and she asked for her favourite cross, and she would spend much of her time in prison, praying heavily. However, on the 11th of November 1939, Nazi trucks entered the prison yard. A large group of prisoners, including Maria, were dragged from their cells and thrown into the trucks. The Germans had ordered them to empty their pockets, and they were then placed onto the vehicles. Maria went on to them last, and she comforted a number of frightened Jewish children who were in her group which were being deported. She gave them a huge amount of comfort, however she would be taken to her death site. The Nazis during the autumn of 1939 and spring of 1940, in wilderness, near Tevej Harevo, committed scores of massacres, and it's estimated in these killings that 14,000 people were killed. Piaznica was the largest site of the killings of Polish civilians in Pomerania, and the small village would be turned into a horrific site of execution. The forests here were chosen by the Germans as a site of mass killing, as it was easily accessible by bus or truck. It was also close to a railway line, and the victims were taken to the execution sites. They were forced to strip, and on some occasions dig their own graves. They were told to line up on the edge of the ditches they had dug, they were then shot by machine guns or rifles and pistols by a group of German executioners. Some of the wounded were later finished off with bayonets or blows from the rifle butts, and many suffered broken skulls. Witnesses would say that prior to the executions, the victims were tortured and children were treated with disgusting cruelty, and many had their heads smashed against the nearby trees by the SS soldiers. It was on the 11th of November 1939 that Maria Kotowska would be brutally executed. On Polish Independence Day, the Germans would murder around 314 Polish and Jewish prisoners in Piaznica, and according to the former Gestapo officers, the executions that day lasted from early morning until three in the afternoon. Maria and other women would march to their graves, then in groups of five they were shot. Some of the victims, it's believed, were buried alive. Witnesses would say that Maria was still seen in her final moments comforting children, and that she went to her death in the same manner, being brutally shot by the Nazis. Following the war, her corpse was not identified, but a grave was found containing a rosary of the same kind, worn by the sisters of her order. This grave was then made a memorial site. In 1944, the Germans dug up most of the bodies, and then using the prisoners of Sturzhof concentration camp, these were then burned. Pope Pius XII would hear about the death of Maria, and he said, You have a martyr, this is great glory and consolation for the congregation. Can there be a greater happiness than to die and give your life for the faith, for the church, for Christ the Lord? She was canonised in June 1999 in Warsaw, and she became one of the 108th Blessed Martyrs of Poland of World War II. But Maria Kotowska, or Sister Alicia, was a woman who gave her life to help others, and she was a caring woman who cared for so many people. She was a woman who was brutally executed by the Germans, and along with many other innocent civilians, she was slaughtered at the hands of one of the most evil regimes in history. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.